Okay, now let's try to make that scene a lot interesting. First thing, I will change my layout to standard. Then I will rename my objects. And also I can get rid of these selections. Now I will double click on the material manager. And I will make these materials very simple. So let's go to first reflectance, disable default specular and add a GGX. And let's change the frame now to dielectric. And I will then duplicate that material, press Ctrl and drag. This time I will make that material black and make the roughness something like 60. Then I will make my last material. This is going to be metal. So color will be black. Roughness will be 20 or you can make it change it as you want. But I will change the Renel you are to 8. Now let's put that material to metal. That one to base. And to part. Then I will put this black matte material. And in the sketch, this inner part is also black. But it's not an object, an object. So. I will go to my base, press V, selection, loop selection, select that loop, then press shift, select that one too, then go to selection, field selection, or you can press UNF, then I will right click my object uh, material, then hit apply. Now let's add a sky and create any material, but this material will have only luminance, and luminance will be full black. Then I will put that to sky. Now I will add a PBR light. Then rotate it 90 degrees and we can make it a little, a little bit bigger. Then I will duplicate that light, rotate it. And another light, but I will put it over the top and change the rotation. I will also go to my options, enable sickness space, omit occlusion, and also shadows. Then I will set my camera, create a camera, and let's make the focal length something 75 and change the rotation to zero, and let's make it no. Here. So now I want to rotate that object so I can show it. First, let's make 200 frames. Select the object and also let's rename that to, to. And I will keep frame here, then go to the last frame and let's make it 360. And let's play it. So I want I want a loop animation. So first thing, select the last frame, set interpolation to linear, also the first frame too. Now let's play it. So I don't know if you can see but in in the last frames it is lagging because Screw frame has 360, then it goes back to zero. But it waits one frame before these frames, something like that. So to get rid of that, I will show you that. I will write 360 to 200 because this is the frame rate frames that we have. So I need to extract that number from 360. So select your last frame, so your last key, and minus one point 
8. So now let's play it. Now it's perfectly looped. Okay, let's reposition our camera. Okay, now I will go to my filter and say on the geometry. And let's press Ctrl Tab. You can also switch between the shadings or you can go to display select ground shading i am using the shortcuts and b and na so that way you can easily get these renders real-time renders to show your model model your client or at your portfolio so to get that exact render you'd need to change your render to view for renderer then say copy fx from viewport then i will always check that geometry only So thank you everybody for watching and I see you in the next choice. Bye.